Hello and welcome to this walkthrough on how to use the predictive intelligence tool within Analysis Skill Kit. Now, predictive intelligence, for those who don't know, is a way for you to Hello and welcome to this walkthrough on how to use the predictive intelligence tool with analysis skill kit. The scenario we'll be walking through today is that of a scenario where we have a custom skill where we are sizing user stories and we want to give the custom skill some additional help in understanding what the priority should be based on the priority of uh, user stories already within the instance. So to get that information, we're going to use predictive intelligence. And this is a model we'll be using today where we have a classification definition where we go through all the stories within the user story table. We are interested in predicting the priority. And what we'll be using to predict that is just the short description. Now, this model has been created and trained already on our data set. However, it's important to note that you can also use this feature um, to generate like similarity. So you have options there. Now we're turning to analysis skill kit to see. In our prompt, we give the context on what the user story is. And then we're going to put in the information here regarding the recommended priority for the case is the output from predictive intelligence. To do so. We go into tool editor and we already have a tool here that actually goes out and fetches the user stories. So what we're going to be doing is adding a tool node of type predictive intelligence. Now we can actually add this in as a parallel node as well. So they operate at the same time. Now we're going to call this get recommended priority. And the type of solution is mentioned, you can do either classification or similarity. We're going to do classification. And since this is the, this is the only one available, it's going to auto populate with that model I just showed before. We click continue. Here is where we need to put that input data in from. Now, because we're bringing in a user story, we're going to provide its short description. Now this is just what the um, predictive intelligence will use to essentially analyze and find the recommended priority for stories with a similar short description. The top end result is basically how many um, items you want returned from this. So we're just going to say one. You can truncate if you believe the results may exceed your token count. And this is where you define when you want this tool to run. So you can skip it if you know, you don't have a short description or something like that, but for today, we'll click continue and add the tool. So now that we have our tool added, we can return to the prompt editor and add the output in our prompt by clicking on insert inputs and get the output from our new tool. We'll save it and run the test on one of our user stories. And if we scroll down here, we get the response from the LLM. However, more importantly, if we go to the grounded prompt, we can see the response from the predictive intelligence tool, where the predictive value was a priority of four. Now, if we go to the tools tab, we can also go by the separate tools that we have to see what the output is, and we can see both the request and the response that we got back. Thank you.